Today, we will be making a friendly fall collaged cat. Collage is when you take various papers, mix them together, and glue them on another piece of paper. We're going to use various items to collage a picture of a cat. Take your piece of black paper and fold it in half, going the length of the paper. This is called a hot dog fold. Some people have called folds hamburger or hot dog. A hamburger is the thicker, fatter fold, and this is the thinner fold. You want it to be thin from side to side. Take it and crease it down the middle. And then you're going to leave it just like that. Don't change directions, it has to be just like that. Lay it flat on the table the way that you folded it. It's important that when you draw, you're drawing the correct way. So you're not flipping it around, you're just leaving it there just like that. Take a white oil pastel and you are going to draw a big J. Start at the crease of the paper and go all the way up. Not quite to the tip of the page, but about right there. Stop and then draw a diagonal line. That will be the cat's ear and then connect it to the side of the paper. And that's the head of the cat. Take your oil pastel and start about the middle of that head and come all the way down to the edge of your paper and stop. The drawing is complete. Now take a pair of scissors and cut along the line that you just drew. Don't cut the center of the paper, just cut that white line on the edge that you drew. Follow it going all the way up. Use one hand for cutting and one hand for turning the paper. And open up your paper. Now we're going to add details to the cat. We'll do this by drawing in his face before we glue him to another piece of paper. With a white oil pastel, draw two circles in the center of his face. They need to be around the same distance apart from each other. Then taking a black, draw a small dot in the inside of what you've just drawn. If you want to make it a cat-shaped eye, draw a line going up and down in the white circle. I want my cat to look friendly and fun, so I drew a small circle. oil pastel, I added eyelashes. You don't have to do this. You can add a curved line on top of the white circle, an eyebrow, and in the center draw a little nose for the cat's face. Now you can draw a heart shape, an oval shape, or a kitty cat nose which would be an upside down triangle. I decided to start with an oval and then I pointed the edges. The mouth are two lines that look like J's. One is a backwards J and the other is a J going the right direction. And then I added whiskers. Taking a pink oil pastel, go to the top and color in his ears. Smudging it just a little bit. We'll make it look like there's um, cat hair in the ear as well. I went over the top of the eye with a curved line. Again, you don't have to do this, it's just an example. And taking another look at the eyelashes, I added one more to it and I added little eyebrows. Small dots can also be added. And rosy cheeks might look nice with your kitty as well. 
I would take a pink to make little circles by his the corners of his mouth. Right now I'm just adding details, highlighting different areas to make things stand out. Put your cat to the side and take this small orange piece of paper and a black oil pastel and draw two dots on the top and the bottom and connect those dots with curved lines. Connect the dots with a straight line and then follow the curved line until you fill up the entire space. At the top of the pumpkin, draw a small box with straight lines. Now cut around the pumpkin. One hand is used for turning the pumpkin and the other hand is used for cutting. Give yourself a small orange edge so you're not cutting directly into the black oil pastel. Now we're going to add the pumpkin to the cat by creating little paws. Take your pumpkin and put it at the center of the cat and draw two small dots, one at the edge of the pumpkin towards the middle and another one. Those dots are going to help us draw our paws for the cat. So come out, draw a hump, and then a line coming all the way down. And stop. Once you have those lines, you're going to take scissors and cut on the black line. Not all the way up, just to the edge of the black oil pastel. One hand is for holding the paper, the other hand is for curving your scissors so you can cut it just right. And stop. Take the other line and cut it directly on the black oil pastel, follow the curve, and stop. Take your pumpkin and put it inside the little paws. Each little paw should be on the outside of the pumpkin. Once you have it in a, a nice position that you like, take some glue, a dot or two, and put it on the back of the pumpkin. A little dot going up, and a little dot on the paw of the kitten. And then place the pumpkin right on the glue. smudged glue, just take a tissue to blot it up or you can rub it off gently with your finger. Try not to drip the glue. Flip your paper over and I want you to tape the back of your kitten with one piece of tape on each line that you cut. We're just going to gently put him back together with one piece of tape going on the line and the other piece of tape going on the other line. So you'll need two pieces of tape and just tape that together. Flip it over and he is ready to be glued on a new piece of paper. Now we're going to add a scarf to the cat. In another class period, we made marbled paper. We're going to take this marbled paper and cut an oval shape the size of the cat's neck. You can also cut a rectangle shape if you're not sure how to curve the edges of a rectangle. First, take that shape and make sure it fits the cat's neck. 
then you're going to need a diagonal line coming out of the cat um, using that paper also. I'm taking a piece of paper, I've rounded the edge, and I'm cutting a little phrase in the bottom of that marbled paper to make it look like the scarf is blowing in the wind. Taking glue, I'm going to glue a line across the cat's neck and gently place that oval that I cut and put it on top. And another oval coming out. Well, it was a rectangle that I curved the edges coming out. You can add designs before you glue it on or after you glue it on. I would suggest you wait for it to dry just a little bit. Um, I think I needed to wait a little bit longer to add designs on my kitten. kitten. Um, you can draw hearts, zigzags, wavy lines, and use any colors you'd like. Pick a piece of paper that you want to put your cat on. Um, it can be orange, red, purple, blue, green. Once you've done that, add some lines on the back of your cat, not too much glue or it'll squeeze out the sides. Put the glue on the cat, turn it over, now flip the entire paper over on its back and massage the back of that paper to make sure the cat stays on really tightly. Once you're done massaging that cat, flip him back over and he should be stuck on real tight to the piece of paper. At this point, you can add embellishments. And embellishments are string, pom-poms, things that you think would make your cat stand out. I am using this cool wavy line string and I'll glue it to the bottom of the cat. Remember, not too much glue, or it'll have a tough time drying. Just one line and I put that embellishment right on top. Now your hands might get a little sticky and glue, with glue on them. So you'll wanna wash your hands after you're done if you get glue on you or take a wet wipe and just wipe them off. And on the scarf, you can also add different details or embellishments. Um, you can add string, uh, pom-poms. Make sure that pom-pom isn't too heavy if you decide to glue that on because sometimes they fall off if you don't have enough glue or if it's too heavy. Um, I'm gonna add a little tail. I cut a small shape to glue to my kitten's rear end, and I added a little tail. If you wanna add spots on your cat, this would be a great time to do that. Um, you could add, uh, make them a spotted cat. You can add a little hat, a bow. You can even draw a little background in if you'd like, maybe sitting on the grass or um, out front of a house. You can decide how you want to dress up your cat.